back. And we're just heading over to this dr dr drift 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 shade refuge, dirt shade refuge, drift shade. This bullshit. We're this is filled with people. We're gonna kill people. We're gonna eat all their hearts, and we're gonna be pretty proud of, of ourselves in the interim. So yeah. Never should have come here. Why not? So this this was their outpost from which they staged an attack on Whiterun? That seems unlikely. I mean they would have had to cross a literal battlefield. It's kind of a bummer how utterly uninteresting the Civil War quests are because it's a war, man. Like, there should be shit going on everywhere. I have seen um, a mod that that's exactly what it gives you. You'll just be walking along, and instead of it, you know, every time, instead of you just coming across, like, a, a dragon or whatever, you come across a battle, and you can kind of help one side or the other. I'm not sure if it makes any like feasible difference in the pl in the plot of the game who you support in each battle or if you were to just go in and kill them all but it may make a difference I, I mean who can say surprise slice you up slice you I didn't bite him. I mean, I did bite him, but I didn't bite him. I was going to bite kill him. Just keep it up. There's an, oh, there's a back door here. A side door. I think that door on the other side is the way out, not the way in. This is the way in. Vilkus, you are not helping. I would like it if you were to help me with certain things, but this is not one of those things. Uh, uh, there's nothing over there. Just keep trucking up the hill here. I love it, man. Uh, there, uh, what what do you do if you're a bandit? or I guess a silver hand or whatever. It would seem to me that all you fucking do all day every day without exception is patrol your like your castle or your cave or whatever it is. They never do anything else. I mean I, I think occasionally you might see one of them sit down and like magically summon some bread into their hand and then begin to eat it. I did quite enjoy that you could put poisoned apples on plates in um, the the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion, and I don't know if you can do that still. Okay, that door's locked. That's what. That's why the doors don't show up if you're a werewolf because they're locked. Oh, don't let him stand up. Just the utter unconcern of oh, I'm in a under attack by a werewolf. I guess I'll have to fucking skip dinner. I have to do this really fast. Let's see what's in here. Another Donnie? No. A distinct lack of Donnie. Alright, so now he's in my fucking way. And I have to... I have to get around him somehow. Yeah. Huh? What? You mean you... You mean you don't want me to block the fucking entrance? Not really. Sure are good at it, though. I've been practicing. Yeah, that's one thing that also kind of sucks. Well, that, that trap trigger is not very effective. You can step on it, and nothing will happen. I mean, there's the gate, or whatever, but it's not like I couldn't avoid the gate. Huh? 
Yeah, we're one-shotting these guys because we have the maxed out bestial instinct or which, whatever the fucking thing is called. Right, so, I have another perk. Uh, let's get that bonus. And I don't think it shows up until I'm a werewolf again. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I, th I don't think it'll reset my health. So yeah, now I have a ton of health, a ton of stamina. I don't know if I would win a fight against a dragon unless I had already knocked him down, but... Who could say? I don't, I don't want to kill you. Vilcus, but I might accidentally if you keep standing there. How, how did they kill all of these werewolves, by the way? I can't hit that guy. Seems to me that there's not much chance that they could have caught all these werewolves and killed them, beheaded them. Eat them. There's not a lot of werewolf bodies laying around here either, just the heads. They must burn the bodies or something. That would be kind of funny if you saw like a castle that had a bunch of heads on spikes and then, you know, upon investigation you find out there's a bunch of headless bodies in the basement. Yup. I know, this is the same old shit. Me running through, me biting dudes. Let's see, did I come through the upstairs? I don't actually recall. I feel like that that's exactly what I did. Okay, never mind. Excuse me. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you run. And it is pretty fast. At least I think it is. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Maybe I am. Maybe this opens up to the big room that has the other room in it. I don't see any homies in here though. Yeah, there's the clear leader. I guess it's not the leader, or else it would say leader. No, I guess it was the leader. And they're all hanging out with all these bits of Ruth Red. It's kind of fun. Also, I refuse to believe that none of those pieces would have gotten fucking lost. It seems to me that they definitely would have gotten lost at some point. Oh, okay, so that is the way that we came through. So, I need to wait in order to pick those up, and then we're going to do... We're going to do a quick uh, run back through the whole area. Well, actually, let's not do that. There's undoubtedly potions that I will find useful, but... But, uh, yeah, I've done that plenty so far, I think. Sufficiently to feel bad about it if I waste your time. Okay, good. I can't read that. Let's check out this Twizel chest. Uh, that's actually more useful to me than the other thing was. The stamina necklace isn't going to do much for me, but shock resistance might be useful. There's not a... well... Probably the thing that would be the most useful would be fire resistance. Just because... It does the most base damage. And it also does, like, continuous damage. So, that's why your fire spells always do more damage than your lightning and cold spells. But... Um, the lightning spells, of course, affect health and magicka, and the 
cold spells affect health and stamina, which that's great and everything, but I think they actually cost more to cast. And unless you're having a real problem with like a ton of mages or whatever, I don't I don't understand why you would want to deplete somebody's magic or stamina when you could even faster murder them and they will be murdered permanently, you know. No more spell casting from people who have been murdered. I like how he says come up. Like I'm not hanging out with them. Okay. Go up might be better. Oh, where the hell am I going? This is the wrong fucking place. Lars Battleborn is getting picked on. Heimsker giving an inspirational speech. Maggots, the filth of our own corruption. Are those supposed to be shields? Look how fucking big they are. The people who slung those over their fucking shoulders probably had a pretty shitty day. Who will start? I'll do it. We rave. We weep. We shout. I can shout. I better not, though. We take our leave. You got that right out of the holy book, did ya? Wait, don't burn him. I want his armor. Alright, never mind. It's kind of interesting because you can see there that it's not the Codlac model. It's part of the beer. It's what you call those things that you carry around the dead on. Because if it was his model, then you could, I guess, technically you could run up, grab him with the Z button and pull his ass off somewhere. Alright, now what? Oh. We don't want any more fragments, would we? No. I don't know why they all are just like... I, I, well, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of shit in this game, and so they couldn't expect the game to spend a lot of time, like, convincing you to, you know, earn everybody's trust or whatever, but it kind of seems like they sort of hand off all of this shit to me pretty early on. I mean, we're what? F three hours into this companion shit? May maybe four? Oops, what did I take from him? That was not a thing I wanted. Ooh. That's not good. Yeah. I just read Codlac's journal. Yada 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 yada. So now I give it to Yorland and then somebody tells me something about the fucking Underforge. And then I I'm not really sure why the Underforge would at all compute in someone's brain as a thing we're supposed to do in mourning, but somebody decides to do it. And then that's when Yorlin shows up and surprises everybody. Uh-oh. That music change kind of freaked me out. I thought the game was about to crash. Am I going the right way? You're just up... You're just up at the Skyforge. You're like, well, the fucking coals are hot. I may as well tap the tap tap at some metal. No, those things would be burning. They would be burnt. They would not be that way at all. Yep, here's Codlax fragment. Thank you. Your shield savings have withdrawn to the Underforge, so I just gave him a fragment of a a thing. 
I know he's supposed to be a great smith, but the, the, he's not just going to weld them together, or else the axe would be garbage. Alright, so here we have some more... Some more shit to watch. Kind of want to just, like, sit here and fucking munch on popcorn or something while I watch this shit. That's not what this is about. Yeah, well... I like that he's like, oh yeah, Codlax says there's a way to cleanse the soul even in death. Like, he wouldn't be like, oh, we're gonna cleanse everybody else while we're at it. But no, just him. All of the previous members of the Companions who were wolves, they're just gonna have to deal with... Maybe they're running. Blah, blah, blah. I... Okay, so I, seriously, I just gave him a fragment. I gave him all the fragments. He didn't have just like a piece of the puzzle that he needed to click in there. But it wouldn't... would not work like this. Okay, so I guess he did use Codlax's fucking body as part of the forge. Ugh, I do not want to carry this thing around. For Codlack. For fucking Codlack. His remorse tomb is kind of out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Go out to the Tower Stone, I guess. So, so far we haven't used the Tower Stone a whole fucking lot. But there's been a couple of times where I've been like, oh, I need the, need this Tower Stone here for, for just in case he's... I don't think we've yet encountered anything that we've vitally needed it for. But then again, we haven't really done any roguey type things. We haven't done... Um... We haven't done the Bard's College, we haven't done the Thieves' Guild, we haven't done the Dark Brotherhood, and it could very well be that when we're doing those... F fucking seriously? You know what? You do what you want. Get underwater. You wanna fight me? That's fine, but we're gonna do this my way. We're going to use your Morse tomb, and you're going to fight every member of the Companions all at once. That should take some fucking piss out of you. No. No dice. Oh, but now I'm trapped under the ice. I'm not even facing you. That's not fair. He was he was totally looking the other direction. Can we just can we just cover that? Alright. I gotta get to this tomb so that all of the companions are there to help me fight this guy. Or I could just leave him out here. I don't know if he'd still be out there, but... It would be cool if there were dudes out there. They're all in here, though. So, shitty. There you go. Alright, so here's what they say, that this is the tomb with all of the Ysgrimor dudes, I guess. So nobody's been in there since the axe has been, I guess, stolen from this spot and then broken to pieces? I just wonder, I'm curious if these guys, if these guys would follow me outside. 
No, I think I eluded the dragon. That's fine. We're we're not hard up for dragon souls. We keep getting fucking attacked. At level one, we keep getting attacked by crazier and crazier dragons. So, oh well. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're pretty far along so far. We're gonna take a break really fast, and when we come back, we're gonna uh, complete the companion's quest line. And we'll start doing something a little bit different. So, see ya.